So I'd suppose that this is episode one of my self-taught data science journey. I do not exactly know what's ahead of me, but I do have a rough plan and that's what I hope to go over in this video. I plan on teaching myself data science with free online educational resources. I'm gonna be covering topics from analytics and statistics to machine learning and Python. My name is Alex Bianchi. I'm a computer science, economics, and philosophy student at Seton Hall. And this video is going to be part one of my self-taught data science series. If you guys could leave a like, respond to the question that I asked you in the comment section down below and watch till the end of this video, all of that would be greatly appreciated. And if you choose to subscribe and stick it through the rest of my journey, I would love that. But I wanna start this video off with my background. So I already said that I am a student, I'm a freshman, I graduated high school with my associate's degree, which means I'm on track to graduate in two and a half to three years. I've been a geek my entire life, but I've never particularly particularly learned how to code until very recently. I started this semester as a business student. You can learn more about my switch to computer science in this video up here. I hope I pointed to the right side of the screen. But I spent this semester teaching myself how to code in Python with the goal of being able to pursue a data science education over my winter semester. If you want to learn about how to utilize your winter semester, you can go to my last video. I'm interested in data science because it seems like the crossroads of the economics that I'm fascinated with and the computer science that I've always had a draw to. It really is a perfect combination. I know that I have the communication and presentation skills that are needed in the field, and I appreciate the high starting salaries. But alas, I can like data science all I want, but if I don't know anything, then what is the use? So that's what my plan is. I've only taken a couple of programming classes so far. I took computing for informatics at my university. I took introduction to computer science from MIT on EDX, which is one of those free educational resources that I'm gonna be using this winter. And I've taken intro to data science, which is the first class in University of Michigan's data science specialization. All of it gave me a solid foundation for Python and then University of Michigan taught me a fair amount about pandas and how to manipulate tabular data. This winter, there are four classes that I plan on taking. I don't know if I'll be able to finish all of them because I do only have two months, but I'm going to try and I'm perfectly willing to allow this experiment to extend into my next semester. The Analytics Edge by MIT is supposedly a data science class that does not require statistics to be taken beforehand because I've not taken statistics and I'm looking to gain that statistical understanding. So hopefully I will be able to take that class and learn linear regression, learn those data science concepts that I'm not particularly familiar with within the universe of R, a programming language that I don't have any experience with yet, but again, the program says they will take you from zero with R and statistics and land you somewhere with a decent foundational understanding, which is perfect for me. I just hope it can live up to its promises. It seems like a lot to learn in one class. Also be continuing the University of Michigan route. The next step in that is data representation with Python. And I will be taking NAND to Tetris, which is completely separate to data science, but I do want to expand my horizons more generally in computer science and computer engineering. And I think NAND to Tetris is a great way to do that. What NAND to Tetris does is it takes you from the node, from the one or the zero, to compilers and operating systems and programming languages and games so that you really code from the bottom up. And it's all project based and it's all online. I hope that this expands my understanding of programming past Python, which is a relatively high level programming language and exposes me to different aspects of computer science that I might be interested in pursuing further. I've chosen data science for this winter. That does not mean I've made a lifelong commitment. I am merely picking a direction and walking towards it. I think data science is a great option. I could very well see myself loving it, but I have to be open to the fact that I might not. It is better to be working towards something than not be working towards anything at all. And the last course that I plan on taking is from Stanford. It's a SQL and database course, and it is also on EDX. This is also the first part of a series of courses that I plan on continuing so that I can really gain a solid knowledge of SQL that eventually I could carry into potentially an internship. Down this path, I see a couple of obstacles. The first one is my lack of statistical knowledge. I've never taken a formal stats course, and although I plan on doing it at university, I'm afraid I might be getting a little ahead of myself. Although, like I said, the analytics edge should be able to walk me through most of it, and I think I'll be able to pick up what I need along the way. I've always been very talented at math. I took calculus in high school. So I should have the calculus foundation that I need. It's just whether or not the statistics 
will be easy enough to pick up along the way. Linear algebra is another class I didn't take and is very important for machine learning. So I could see myself hitting a roadblock down the University of Michigan machine learning track, but I think I'm gonna answer that when I get there. And if I have to uh, deter from my route and take a linear algebra course online, then so be it. Besides that, my lack of programming knowledge besides Python is a little bit concerning, but all of these classes are very introductory level and I don't see there being a problem. I am dedicating myself to a lot. This is a lot of coursework, but I'm also gonna have a very open schedule. And besides YouTube, that's about it. So I think I'll be able to do it. I'm gonna be documenting this process on my YouTube channel to keep me honest, to clue others in as to what they might be able to accomplish if they went down their own self-learning path and overall just get my experience out there. There are a few great YouTubers in this sphere, Dataleap, Jomatech, Kenji, and they are part of what inspired me to go down this route. This video might be a little bit short, but it really is just an introduction into what my journey is going to be. And I don't like making promises like this. I'd rather just get out there and do, but I think a video like this is a good way to start off. Going forward, I'm gonna be uploading two videos a week. One video is gonna be kind of the self-helpy, kind of storytelling lessons learned from my life. And the other video is gonna be directly pertaining to this data science project. If I find that it's difficult to make a video every single week on the stuff that I'm learning, then I might switch that to every other week and do two of the uh, more normal YouTube videos uh, on those off weeks, but that's fine. We'll see as we go along. And if you made it to this point in the video, I would really appreciate if you left a comment, liked and subscribed. Comments, I really, really appreciate comments. Uh, because they, well, they help out the YouTube algorithm. Like I have people that'll direct message me something and I, and I just wish that they would leave it as a comment. So it helps the YouTube algorithm. But I also really like engaging with the 20 people that are watching my YouTube videos. Thank you, mom. <laughs> That's gonna be for this one, guys. Peace.